Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to implement the source functionality using Alpine JS, where we'll see here, whatever we type, it will come up and we can just do up and down using this up and down arrow keys. And suppose let's say we have so many things and it is scrolling into that same position. So let's get started. So currently I am here in this dashboard page, which is this dashboard view. And it is using this app layout, which is this app layout. And here, it is using this navigation okay currently this navigation is this navigation and i have added here this input type text and here also i have some data that i have commented out which i'll just show you a little bit later so first of all we need to initialize some data here in the alpine js so we'll do here x dash data and we'll say drop down movies like this and i have already created this drop down movies function and it's just it is just here at the bottom so here we have this drop down movies and here is the list of movies there are 10 movies currently now whenever we type something over here we want all the movies list to appear here at the bottom so for that we need to create x model over here x dash model and let us say movie like this and let me go here at the bottom and let me also create movie like this this will be the model okay now let me just uncomment this so we are looping through the movies and showing every movies over here so just let me refresh and here we can see all the movies over here so now let us just implement this searching functionality so now instead of movies let's say filtered movies and we'll just find this by looking at this where it this movie model okay so here we'll say so this is an object so we can do here get filtered movies and you can just call it as a function but we can access it as a property so let's say if this dot movie so this movie whenever we write here this it will just access everything that is inside the object if this dot movie is equal to empty string then we'll just return empty array but if there is something in the movie then we'll just source that so we'll say return this dot movies dot filter movie we'll say here movie dot name dot to lower case so that whenever we are searching we don't care about the case sensitivity so we'll say to lower case dot includes we'll say this dot movie dot to lower case like this so it will return all the filtered movies and here also we are showing here only the filtered movies and now let me just refresh we cannot see anything over here but let's say we search for a or spider-man then it is showing only that thing and we are also seeing this thing let us also hide this one so let's say here x dash so if this filtered movies dot length is greater than zero and similarly we'll also show the no movies over here if this filtered movies length is zero so here also we'll say x dash so i'll just copy this one and paste it over here we want to show the no movies if the length is equal to zero and we are still seeing this whenever we are not typing anything so let us check this one also if movie is not equal to empty string and so we need to just write single quote and filter start length is equal to zero then only we want to show the no movies which means whenever we, are, we have typed something and the length is zero then only we'll show no movies so here it is not showing and let's say spider spiderman and it is showing it and let me write a random thing then it is showing no movies and if there is nothing in the source also it is not showing that is working fine but let's say no like this and whenever i just try to click on down key then nothing is happening and also whenever we click on outside then also this thing is not hiding so let us fix that and also we need to just clear this out so here in the input let us just write it over here we'll say x dash on click dot outside we have this modifier this dot outside present in the alpine js itself so we can just use it whenever we click outside this input element then we want to reset this thing and hide this one so whenever we just assign empty string to this movie model then it will automatically get hidden so here we'll say reset let us create this reset function over here 
so here i'll just say here reset and whenever we are creating a function we don't write this get over here okay so here i'll say this dot movie equals to empty and let me reload over here and let me just type something and let me just click on outside then that will just assign empty string to that movie model and then this uh, filtered movies will return empty array and then it will automatically be hidden so that's fixed and whenever we type something over here and click on escape key then also we want this to be hidden and this to be removed so let's do that as well so here in the input so here we'll say x dash on escape in this case also we want to call the reset okay now let me just refresh here and i'll just type here something and click on escape key then you can see here this has been reset now whenever we type something and click on the down arrow key then we want this thing to be highlighted so let's do that so here in the input we can say here x dash on key up dot down then we'll say here select next movie so let me just come here and let me create that method over here select next movie like this and also if that movie is selected then we want to highlight this one so in order to track that we need a separate variable and we'll track the index of the movies that is present over here so let me say here selected movie index and let me just write here empty string for now and now let me just go over here select next movie and we can say that whenever this selected movie index is empty string nothing has been selected so we'll say if this dot selected movie index is equal to empty string then we can easily say this selected index movie always be zero otherwise this selected movie index plus plus we can just increase the index of this selected movie by one and here i am not uh, considering any edge cases we'll just look at them a little bit later now let me just go here here in the button and here let me say the class like this and here we can say x dash bind like this or we can just keep it like this here in the class i can just say here we can just give them certain class if current index of the movie is equal to selected movie index like this and we'll just give some background bg gray and let's say 100 and we'll say outline none like this so that that random outline would not be visible in the button element so here i'll just refresh over here and i'll say no like this and just hit on this down key then you can see here this thing is being highlighted and again if i click on down then again this is highlighted if i again go down and again one time i'll go down then nothing is highlighted but whenever it reaches over here and again if we hit down then we want this to be selected so let's do that so let's go here at the bottom and here we'll say if this dot selected movie index equal to this dot filtered movies dot length then we'll say here this dot selected index will be zero so whenever this index is equal to this length because we have already done here plus plus so it will increase this index will increase so in that case we'll check with the length of this filtered movies then whenever this length is equal to this then we'll just reset that movie index so now let me refresh over here and let me say here no again and if i just click on down one two three and again if i click down then it will take me to this again the first one and i can just click on down down multiple times and it will take me to that but let's say if i just click here back space and i am currently here in the third okay this red notice but if i click here back then you can see here it is selecting this another movie now and if we come here down like this and now i am currently selecting this sixth movie and again if i go here no then i cannot see anything so whenever we just uh, type something over here we want to reset that index and we can do that like this over here let me just go here at the top and here in the input sorry not here in the input we can do here at here so i'll say x dash init whenever it initialize we want to watch for the movie variable and whenever it changes we'll just reset this one so here selected movie index so this one let me just copy it this will be empty string 
okay now let me again refresh and let me just search for n and let me just go here just by clicking on the down up to this fifth one and again if i click on o and again if i click down arrow key then it will start from the beginning so that's also fixed okay after that now again let me click here n and click on down and now when i click on up arrow key nothing is happening so let us implement that as well hmm so let me just copy of this thing and whenever we click on the up key select we'll do previous movie so let me just copy it and here so i'll just say here select previous movie also before doing this let me show you one more thing so i'll just refresh over here and i'll just say a over here and whenever i go down you can see here there are multiple movies over here but it is not taking me to this view so to do this you might be thinking of adding a ref over here to this element and then focusing that element but it doesn't work in the loop so currently we are showing this items here inside the loop and we cannot add ref over here so for that we need to do it manually and let us do that so here we'll just say this focus selected movie so this is a separate method this thing we also need it over here so i'm creating a separate method so here in this method what we need to do is we need to find the children of this div so in the loop we cannot add ref but here in this div we can add a ref here we'll add okay let me add here x ref movies like this and we'll find the children of these movies or this element div and then we'll scroll that into the view so here i'll just go down here and here i'll say this dot refs dot movies and i'll say dot children like this and we have this this dot selected movie index so we'll find the movie which is in the current index and we'll call here dot scroll into view so we have this scroll into view function here in the javascript we have this scroll into view and whenever we call scroll into view on an element it will just be visible if it is hidden and also before that let me show you something over here so here in this loop so currently here this div we are adding xref so let me just reload it one more time and let me just say here s and let me just show you this one more time here we are writing xref on this div okay and if i just expand it then you can see here all these buttons over here but we also have this template as the first children so now here instead of selected movie index we need to add plus one because whenever this selected movie index is zero it will select this template one and we don't want that so we'll add plus one so that will select this first one whenever the index is zero and scroll into view and now let's see what happens okay let me just refresh over here and let me type here s and when i click here on the down key then this now jumps to the top of the page and if i click here down one more time then it will again jump to the top of the page but we don't want this behavior so to fix this we can pass parameter here into scroll into view and we have this block option okay defines the vertical alignment so let me write here scroll into view and here i'll say block and it has a value of this start by default and we don't want this we want this nearest i just tried all these values and this worked for me so i'm just using it okay let me refresh over here and let me just search for s and whenever i click on down then you can see here it is not taking me to the top of the page and if i just click here down multiple times then it is just showing me everything in a normal way and again let me search for a and there are many things that has letter a so you can see here it is working but now whenever we click on the up key then it is not working so let us implement that now so here if this is empty string if this uh, selected movie index is empty string in the beginning suppose let's say we are here in this stage it is in the beginning and we source for a and whenever we click on up then we want to select this last one so let me do that so if this selected movie index is equal to empty string then we want 
this dot selected movie index to be this dot filtered movies dot length minus one we want the last one to be selected and else we'll just do this dot selected movie index minus minus and again i haven't done any calculation for the edge case but let me add this one over here and just refresh over here and just type here a and whenever i click on op key then it will take me to this sang c and if i click on op 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 and whenever i just go here at the top and if i click on this op key then nothing is working so let us fix that so we'll say here if this dot selected movie index is less than zero if it is less than zero whenever it reaches above this it means it will be less than zero in that case we'll say this dot selected movie index is equal to same thing that we have defined over here so here i'll just say here this dot filtered movies dot length is equal to one and now let me just come here again i'll type a and just click here on the up arrow key multiple times and whenever we reach spider-man no home and again click up then it will take me to this last element and here we can just click multiple times the up key and it will just loop through it but now let's say we just search for something and just click down or up arrow button to reach there and whenever we click on enter then nothing is happening so in that case we want to visit a page that is related to this movie so let's do that so here um in this input element so we'll say here like this so here x dash on key up dot enter like this if you see here whenever we are just pressing up and down key then our input this key is here in the input element okay this cursor so we have to write this x on key up dot enter over here so here we want to go to the respective url so we'll say just go to url like this and let me define this over here like this and here we need to find the current movie let current movie equals to this dot filtered movies and here we have this dot selected movie index and then we'll say window dot href equals to the url that is related to this current movie you can pass url here so you can have url related to this movie passed from here or you can just write a custom url that you have defined in your project so i'll just send it to the dashboard and here let me just use this string syntax interpolation syntax and here i'll say name is equal to i'll say movie dot name like this in order to show that whenever we click on enter we are taken to the dashboard but the name will be whatever we have selected okay i'll just redirect here to this same page so here i'll say a and i'll just click here down multiple times and this i am here in this third movie okay and if i hit here enter then there is some issue so here it says movie is not defined oh yeah so this is the current movie like this and if i just come here and refresh and just select on a one more time and let me get to the bottom and if i just select this fourth one and hit enter then nothing is happening over here okay oh yeah this is not href this is location okay not window.href it is window.location and again let me refresh over here a one two three four and hit enter then you can see here it is taking me to this same movie and let me again search for this eternals and hit enter then you can see here the eternals is over here and the final thing that we want is so again if i search for something and just go here in any one of these movies and click on this matrix resurrection then nothing is happening so whenever we click on that one also we need to show the respective movie page so for that case also we'll just go over here in the loop and here i'll say x dash on click prevent and here i'll say go to url but i'll pass here movie like this okay and let me go to the same function over here and here will be movie like this and in the current movie we'll say if movie is present then we'll just call here movie otherwise we'll find the this movie from the filtered movies
so here again if i refresh and click on a and then just click here in this the matrix resurrection then it is taking me to this matrix resurrection and again search for something and click on eternals then it will take me to this eternals so that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you think something that can be improved in this implementation then definitely tell me in the comment section below so thank you for watching have a great day bye